Hello and welcome to my top 10 favourite redstone contraptions. These are my personal favourite redstone builds in my lovely world. They are based on what they make happen, how well they work, and how memorable the build is. This is not a list of my most advanced redstone creations, simply the ones I like the most. My 10th favourite redstone creation is the redstone fire on my clay oven restaurant. The clay oven on the inside might impress more people, but it doesn't really use any redstone. The outside of the building is supposed to look like a burning fire. The waves of lit redstone lamps and stained glass work surprisingly well. It wasn't too difficult to build, but the effect it creates looks really good. My ninth favourite redstone creation is my Investigator minigame. In theory, the redstone for this minigame is very simple. It's just trails of redstone leading from the levers to the pistons that move the teeth. The tricky part was making them all fit in and not get linked up inside of the alligator's mouth. It only just fits in, and looking at the game you would have no idea that there was any redstone at all. My eighth favourite redstone creation is my washing machine. This is by far the simplest redstone creation on this list. All the redstone does is make a piss and extend, and water get released from a dispenser. The effect of the washing machine works really well though. Seeing the water flowing and the clothes bounce up and down looks very convincing. I was really proud of the design and think it deserves a place on this list. My seventh favourite redstone creation is my Snack on Track restaurant. This redstone allows you to program in a destination by switching three levers. The minecart will then take you to the exact table you want and back again. It's simple to use and really fun to play with. It was the best way I could think of to give the effect of waiters being on roller skates. My sixth favourite redstone creation is my coffee contraption. This is the only creation on this list that intentionally looks complicated. I wanted to give the effect of a crazy coffee machine with lots of moving parts. It's really fun to press just one button and see everything else work by itself. My favourite section is when the coffee is released and sent to the barista in a minecart. I was also really proud of the redstone as it only takes up one block of space behind the wall. My fifth favourite redstone creation is my Switch the Switch minigame. This minigame is one of the only times when I have purposely left my redstone on display. Rather than hiding the redstone behind a wall, I let people watch how it works and in many ways it overshadows the actual gameplay. Inside the game there is a minecart track that changes depending on who has switched the switch. There is also a counting mechanism that works out who has won the game. It is really satisfying to watch and would have ended up higher on the list if it didn't need to be reset after every single game. My fourth favourite redstone creation is my Boingy Beaks minigame. Similar to Switch the Switch, the redstone is mainly all about counting. The reason it's higher up in the list is because it's able to reset itself so there's no need to set up in between games. The minecart checkpoint system allows for me to count four different sides all at the same time. All of the mechanisms, including the slime launcher in the middle, are linked up to just one lever so it couldn't be easier to use. My third favourite redstone creation is my Fashion Sense minigame. The redstone in this game is used to put a full set of armour on an armour stand and release water to make it move from one side to the other. It sounds simple enough, but it was tricky to fit so much redstone into such a small space. It was also a challenge to make sure the water on the opposite side was turned off while not releasing more armour. It was a tricky problem, but I think I was able to solve it with a pretty elegant solution. My second favourite redstone creation is my treadmill. Looking at the treadmill from the top might confuse people as to how it works, but it won't impress them too much. It's when you see it working from the underneath you see how cool of a contraption it really is. It's very satisfying to see how perfectly timed everything moves and the endless loop of falling blocks. It took a really long time to get right, but I love how it ended up working. It's always one of the things that I show off when someone visits my world for the first time. My number one favourite redstone contraption is Recycle Michael. Recycle Michael works by lifting items up a glass elevator, sending them into Michael, sorting them into materials that can be recycled or incinerated, then firing them either into a chest or a lava pit. It is all controlled by a simple panel at the back of the room. The redstone is completely hidden and deceivingly simple. The redstone inside of Michael fits into a very compact space perfectly and doesn't sacrifice its form at all. The machine uses lots of different elements together in a very natural way and always impresses anyone that is seeing it for the first time. That is why my favourite redstone contraption in my lovely world is Recycle Michael. These are just my personal top 10, but I couldn't include all of my redstone creations on this list. Make sure you leave your favourite contraptions in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye!